Llevo jamasita la Welcome to this video. Today is Friday and Fridays, I usually have class on Fridays, but today I don't think I have any students today. So I'm just gonna be going to the studio. This is gonna be another productivity vlog. I just finished creating the first productivity like vlog and I really, really liked my style of editing. I kind of been getting the itch, the itch to do another one. If you watch the productivity vlog and you're watching this vlog, let me know how y'all feel, especially my goddesses, if you've been rocking with me for a while. How do y'all feel about the editing style? Because I really value your opinion. With that being said, I'm about to get dressed and head out on out. So when it comes to my vlogs, I just be on the go and just like come along on a journey with me. I'm gonna be taking care of my hair this week because it's like wash day. If y'all can't see, my hair is crusty dusty. So I'm gonna take y'all along that face scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> so I'm heading to the studio now. I will see you goddesses once I get there. I set up the Lyra. I really wanted to practice something a little bit different today. I'll give you goddesses something a little bit different than what I usually do. So that's why I decided to set up the Lyra. I just want to really practice like Ariel. I'm going to sit here and say Lyra is a lot more painful to me when it comes to pole. Pole is obviously painful, but I've consistently done pole for like about four years now. But with Lyra, it is a little bit different and it's a little bit more painful, especially when it comes to my like arms because I'm doing a lot more arm stuff and whatnot. But I will sit here and say this, like if you were trying to like grow strength or gain strength, Lyra is so great. Pole overall is gonna do that. But Lyra is a whole different ball game. There was actually something that I wanted to chit chat with y'all. I like to talk in a British accent from time to time because I actually think it's pretty good. I genuinely would love to know how y'all feel about this. Literally, I have been sitting here thinking to myself that I want to go on a date with somebody and I want to... <laughs> talk in this accent the whole entire time. I want them to believe that I am British. <laughs> but the thing is, I have to like actually commit to it. And then I'm going to like completely cut them off. <laughs> I'm like, I have to cut them off afterwards because it's like, this is going to be so hard to keep up. But I just want to know in the comments down below, if you goddesses would like me to go on a date with somebody and talk in a British accent the whole entire time. I mean, actually like record my date pretending that I'm British. <laughs> if I get a hundred comments and a hundred likes, I will do it. But if I don't, it's not going to happen. So you need to run up the comments and you need to run up the likes if you want me to go on a date and pretend that I'm British and talk in this accent the whole entire time. I really want to do it, but I need y'all to really mo motivate me to do it. Seriously, because I won't do it otherwise. I also do like I want to practice it more with you goddesses and also let me know in the comments down below that it is believable but in the afternoon in Florida oh my god the heat is so diabolical I'm going to share with y'all what I'm going to do when it comes to like my Instagram platform so I kind of like talk about this a little bit but I'm really really focusing on my YouTube channels at multiple channels and I realized for myself that I have been going through this like ongoing battle with myself specifically, but with Instagram. I am officially going to start making changes to my Instagram. I realized within myself, I'm really kind of tired of posting the same content. And I'm like, I wonder if my audience are also kind of tired of me posting the same content as well. So with that being said, I have officially decided that I need to make a change. And if I want to be a YouTuber, like the way that I desire, I'm going to have to make changes to my Instagram. When I started my poll journey, I unfollowed like a whole bunch of people. I unfollowed a lot of people from my hometown and I was only following like pole dancers because I remember this 
quote from like LeBron James that said, it's like, if you really want something, you have to eat, breathe, and sleep that ish, okay? And that's what I did. So four years later of being in the pole world and like really starting my pole journey, it's changed my life. And it's because I was literally living, breathing pole each and every day. I'm now in a process where I need to make a change and a shift if I really want to be a serious YouTuber. I'm going to have to clean my platform and I'm going to just have to figure out what kind of other content that i want to post on my instagram i told myself before i start going through a cleanse and unfollowing a whole bunch of people and just deleting a whole bunch of things or archiving them i need to figure out number one what kind of content do i want to post on instagram he was number one right now i realize that i don't really follow that many youtubers on my instagram and i need to actually go through my subscribers and figure out who I follow and like my YouTube channel and follow them on Instagram. I need to start getting inspired and also like start to like admire people. That's what I did the first time obviously with pole and obviously my life is shifting and I'm like, I wanna be a YouTuber. In order to take it serious, I have to be serious and intake the sh each and every day. I don't really have all the answers. This is just a journey and I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. I can't just like delete everything or archive everything and unfollow people. If I don't really have a vision where of what it is that I want to do or where I want to go when it comes to Instagram. Life is a journey and even with this like new transition and this new mindset that I'm, well, it's not really new, but it's new to the moment once again it's just time for a shift and a change hopefully that makes sense so for the last couple of hours i have been going through my youtube channel and seeing who i'm subscribed to they're going to their like instagram pages and to be honest i can already tell like just really gave me like inspiration immediately and more of an idea of how like more i can like promote my youtube channel on my instagram I feel like I'm going in the right direction and I'm going on track. But I have to figure out what kind of content that I want to post. And like, I know I'm overthinking it, but again, I just haven't been inspired. So I, I feel like one, I need to like tell myself to chill the f out instead of just trying to do everything now. Cause that's one of my biggest Wait. issues is like, I try and do everything right now. And it's like, no, no, it irritates me. I irritate myself sometimes. So I'm just taking a night, late night stroll around the neighborhood. I'm at the like pool side right now. So the reason that I came out for a walk is because like I was saying earlier about like and getting different content and stuff, I was looking on Pinterest for like different aesthetics and I got like different ideas of like a library aesthetic, a pool side aesthetic, and just like, you know, trying to find like a white wall like outside and like I can take pictures next to so that's why i kind of decided to go for a walk and like see what's around if i did any like late night poolside vibes like y'all could see like the pool is like lit up and there's light around and stuff i was like it would probably be cool to do like a late night swim one night or something and get like pictures or something i'm literally like just playing around right now and like getting some pictures late at night i'm about to like sit my feet into the pool but i don't know why i never thought of this before until now i guess sometimes you kind of just be in a slope slump sometimes anyway i'm here now and that's all that matters i just want to sit here and say like please remember your path is always going to be different and do not ever compare yourself to other people okay like what you have is more than enough you just have to think outside the box and be creative and i'm learning that once again what time is it okay so it's 11 22. one i feel like something went off in my brain and this like feeling of like something new is starting like i like i feel like there's a lot of new things happening in my life creatively something sparking in my brain so that's a good sign the wall that i'm thinking about taking pictures at one my neighbor that lives over here she's really cool but the neighbor that lives like below us he's an asshole so i'm not even going like even try to take pictures like in that area so i'll hopefully i'll cross paths with her and like ask her she's really sweet i always say hi to her when i see her i think 
I have the ideas. I think I have the vibes. I'm not, okay, I wanna make this clear. I'm not trying to be like anyone. I wanna be myself, but I'm like, what is it that I'm trying to create? I don't really know. And I think that's what the problem is. But then it's like, there might not be anything up here that I can think of that I wanna create because I just need to create. Oh my God! I think that's what it is. I'm gonna edit for a little bit. I'm sorry if you hear him in the background because I'm watching Brindisi right now. And I didn't want to be up this late, but I don't know about y'all, but like I get into like a creative space. Like when I get into a creative space, like I just don't like I just want to finish it like complete and then I want to watch it and whatever because I get excited about my own videos and like this video in particularly I think is like literally the cherry on top on the direction of how I want to go about editing my videos moving forward on my channel. I'm really excited as well as when it comes to like making my thumbnails and stuff I'm getting really really good at it. When you just enjoy what you do and this is something that I realize as someone that loves what I do when it comes to art and being creative you know, late hours just kind of happen sometime. Tomorrow, I'm going to start my next project. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. One of the things I don't want to say, I know I talked about this in my productivity vlog. In order for me to be on my phone in the morning, um, I have to sit in my window if I want to like edit or post or whatever. So I have been gone for like the last week because I have been like moving around. I was staying at my brother's house. I went to my auntie's house and I was like gone for a week. So one of the things that I realized when I start like doing something new, it's just before I have to go or move somewhere. Like I have to go somewhere. So I now have to like reapply that method. But the one method that is sticking is me turning off my phone and making sure I do not have it in the bed by 10 p.m. I caught myself last night, you know, creating a new routine, being disciplined, but also moving around, I will admit is really, really hard because it's like, if you have discipline and I like had it set in stone here, it wouldn't be hard for me. But because I was like moving around, staying at my brother's, going to my aunt's house, it was kind of hard. Um, Next week, actually, my aunt is coming here. So I'm gonna be like staying on the like couch bed and whatever, cause she's gonna use my room. And I don't wanna make any excuses for myself, but I kind of wanted to put that there though. Let's take a look at my hair before I start washing it. So clearly my hair is dusty, crusty and all that in my. And I also know that I have stated in my previous video talking about every 10 to 12 days that I was like, I'm thinking about doing my hair. Still don't know if I'm gonna do that. Um, but this like went, oh my God, y'all, let me do a 360. Like look at all this hair. Yeah, it might be a little maddening if I do do it every 10 to 12 days. But pretty much all I'm going to do today, since I did like a, I recently did a Bantonite clay wash, which is a deep condition, going to shampoo and condition my hair. I just put some oil in so it's looking it's looking pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to corn roll my hair back i think i'm only gonna do like four sections i don't want to do a lot I'm about to go through the cleaning process on my Instagram um, just because I'm like I'm feeling it it's on my mind 
honestly have nothing other to do than other edit or work on my project. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me go ahead, start cleaning up my Instagram. But before I do that, I'm going to write a post on my story. It's me talking about how people take it so personally when you unfollow people and it's never about you. And it's really weird. I've always thought it was weird because when I went through this process, like I, I was stating on Friday how, but I went through this process and I had unfollowed people, not even knowing that I had unfollowed certain people. And this one girl had DM'd me that I used to go to high school with. I didn't even know I had unfollowed her because I was going through a cleaning process. And she was stupid and thought she was DMing her friend and she was DMing me and she was talking. I liked it to make sure that she knew I had seen it and that I blocked her and everyone else that I knew she was friends with because I was like, what? And really, it's like people take that shit way too personally. So I'm just gonna make a post on my Instagram story first and foremost, like, hey, I'm about to clean up my platform. It is nothing personal. If I unfollow you, take it up with God or take it up with your therapist because I don't give a I don't care because it's not that deep. It's not that serious. Just how I got to the level of where I am with pole was because of what I did four years ago when I cleaned up my Instagram and I was just following only pole dancers that inspired me and I was admiring to get to their level. I will check y'all in a little bit. I have literally been on my phone cleaning up, unfollowing, moving people from like a lot of pole people onto my other poll page and just like unfollowing accounts and whatever. And I just wanna sit here and say that this process is not an easy process. It's not gonna take a day. I think I'm going to probably be doing this either tomorrow and a little bit of Monday as well. But point blank period, I just like completely changed Poe Goddess Elite before. My main page to Poe Goddess Journey pretty much is gonna connect the name of my YouTube channel. People will be able to find my Instagram page as well. So next I have to go through the process of kind of like deleting a lot of videos that's kind of getting me like shadow banned and getting flagged and whatnot. Cause once I do that, then my page should be easy for people to like see and whatnot. But this process is not an easy process. I just want to make this clear. I'm sorry if my lips are crusty. I apologize. It's three in the morning, y'all. It's three in the morning and my eyes hurt. Feel really good on how my platform is looking right now. I'm really liking where I'm going with this. But anyway, I'm going to sleep. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You ever have a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do that really just like throws you the hell off? I can't even explain, and I don't even know what the message behind this dream is. Like sometimes there are messages. At some point, I'll figure out what the hell the message is. But as of right now, I have no goddamn clue. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today right now because I'm just now getting up. Y'all are just coming on this journey. I don't know what today really has in store right now. I'm trying like different things when it comes to like layering and I don't know like I'm really really liking this um the only thing that I kind of wish I had was like a cute little bow but this is like my top with this shirt here I think it's really cute um and I'll show you the skirt that I'm wearing once I get outside so I noticed that like living out here, it's really hard for me to dress, um, I feel like, but I'm not gonna be out here too much longer because I've probably been out here for a good like hour getting videos, content and stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> Please.
please. It's my phone is gonna overheat, like both of the phones. Every single time I sit here, one is hot as hell. The sun, there's no like shade over here, so I know my phones, my phones are going to overheat. So that's why I'm gonna like finish it up here. Okay, y'all, it's the end of the night, and I just started watching this show, y'all, called The Good Girl. I think. Hold on, let me show y'all. I just started watching this. He is so damn fine. Oh my god, it's so fun. I have never seen this show before, so I'm watching it, and I'm only watching it because of that fine ass mo. That's the only reason I'm watching it. I, I, the show is good. I ain't gonna lie. The show is good. It's really interesting. I've never. I think I remember like way back when it came out. It has like four seasons. But anyway, with that being said, I am going to sign off. This is the end of this vlog. I will see y'all in the next video. I love you, goddesses. Bye.